Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to use the leaflet rotate marker to rotate your standard markers as well as custom markers in leaflet. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get the code from a GitHub page. If you just uh, search for leaflet rotate marker, you should come up with this result. Uh, if not, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description below. So let's go ahead and click onto the link and we'll go over to the green button where it says code and we'll download the zip file. Okay, if you go to your downloads, let's go ahead and extract it. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually copy the extracted folder and I'm going to place that into my project folder. My project folder contains my HTML structure as well as a custom icon. So let's open up our HTML and we'll open that up. And now I'm just going to open the folder, my project folder that is. And it's going to be right here. And you can see this is the, the contents from that uh, zip file that we extracted, as well as the image I have for that custom marker. We'll get to that one later. But right now, this is just a simple map. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description below on a video I did uh, about creating something like this. So the first thing we want to do is add a standard marker. So down here in the body, Say on click marker and say map on click function. E variable marker equals new L marker. B dot lat long dot lat comma e dot lat long dot long okay dot add to map okay again I'm just gonna add a standard marker to the map I'm just doing one step at a time and yes so when I left click I, I get a standard marker Okay, so next, what we want to do is add this GeoJSON file up here in the head. That's a script. Sorts. Equals. And then within the double quotes, we're going to just simply right click and copy the relative path and paste that right in between. Okay. And we're going to close that off. Now, if we go down here, so down here, we're going to the variable marker option. Equals. We can do stuff like we could say like draggable true and rotation angle. Now this is where you could rotate the the markers. So I'm gonna say 90 degrees for right now. And then down over here, we are going to comma and we're going to say marker options basically we're pulling in this the angle rotate and the draggable to every time we click onto the map we get that marker this is going to apply to that so let's go and save that and we'll go and run and there we go so again, these are at a 90 degree. 
And you know, we could just change that, say 45 degrees. Save that and run. Yeah, so you can play with that. So let's do the same thing. So again, this is the standard marker. Let's do it with a custom marker. So just above this, we're going to say variable custom icon equals. Actually, sorry, skipped a step here. So variable icon options equals on URL. And that is mine is going to be tree.png. Okay, we do a comma. Now we need to have the icon size. If not, it's going to be ginormous. And you can play with the, the different sizes, but I'm going to do 38, 95. Okay. Now we'll do the variable custom icon equals l dot icon icon options and let's go and save that And we'll run. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we need to put icon, custom icon. Rotate. Okay, so let's go and save that. Looks like I need another comma there. Okay, let's go and save that and let's run it. And there's our custom icon that is at a 45 degree angle. Once again, we could change that. Degree of rotation. Other upside down. Okay, guys, so I hope you found that useful. Um, as always, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions on any future videos. Again, I greatly appreciate you guys watching. And as always, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.